These are so cool. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can see the citron coming out in them because the if I remember the yep exactly the lemon is a is a citron crossed with a mandarin or something like that and it's coming back out like the Buddha's hand the little fingers yeah that's amazing that's what it is it it smells and tastes just like a lemon I didn't taste I didn't taste any trifoliate in there holy smokes look at that that looks like a Buddha's hand so this, everybody, is a citramon. This is a lemon crossed with a trifoliate. It's a trifoliate lemon hybrid, and they look like pumpkins. I don't think I've seen a more cool citrus than this guy right here. Um, look at this. We're going to do a taste test today. We're going to review it. This is a cold, hardy citrus hybrid that can survive almost up into Virginia. In, in probably coastal Virginia, uh, coastal North Carolina, South Carolina, zone eight and possibly on the edge of zone seven. <clears throat> but if you're zone eight, you're good to go with these. Um, and the thing that, that the craziest part about that is, is that lemons are not zone eight. You know, they're zone nine, zone 10. You know, you're, you're, uh, you're stuck with only in the Southern part. This, this, this will extend the citrus growing areas if we can get more of these out there. And I'm trying to do the best I can. Um, I've only got like a few trees of these so far, but I got these from Stan McKenzie and his tree was absolutely loaded this year. And look at that. I and mean, if you cut it down the edges of these, that's like each little slice. It's amazing. These, they taste really good. I've already tried them. I can't stop eating them, but I want to show you guys how, <laughs> how good these are. And you know it's a trifoliate because like, look at the leaf right here. I saved this one. One, two, three. It's a trifoliate hybrid. And the one in the middle, it's, it's big. Now, what's cool about these, I've showed this tree a few different times in previous videos at Stan's property. And um, it has really, really big, beautiful leaves. Out of all the trifoliates, this one here looks more like a, a normal orange. Um, a lot of the hybrids have small leaves, lots of them, but they have small, small leaves. Um, but yeah, look at that. That's a. And that's a smaller version of it but you can see it's a trifoliate hybrid and they taste I would say they actually taste for being a trifoliate um, a lot of trifoliates have a real strong pungent uh, oily flavor and a lot of people don't like it I don't mind it as much I can I can tolerate some of the you know the Ponsiris trifoliate, but the hybrids I think are actually where it's at. And I had somebody previously ask me why, why would somebody willingly? It was my last video. I was doing a tour of the new citrus grove here with Tough Citrus in North Carolina, and they asked the question. They said, "Why would somebody willingly pay for trifoliate citrus? I would pay for this all day long. I'd rather buy this than the stuff at the grocery store." And watch what it looks like. Now it's been mainly seedless. I did find one with some seeds in it, so I want to kind of be careful, but they look really cool when you cut them. They look like a flower. And if I get any seeds, I definitely want to keep the seeds from this. All right, this one's got some seeds in it. Not much though, but look at that. How cool is that, huh? And they taste, they taste amazing. I'm gonna try to give you what my opinion is on these. But yeah, look at that. How cool is that? Great, I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be cooking with these. I might do some videos on cooking. I've already made some lemon water with it, not lemonade, but. Um, mm. It's like a super lemon, but it's not super sour. The funny thing is, is it's not as bitter as a lemon or as bitter as a trifoliate. 
for some reason it's really 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 good look at that so I'll cut another one open here real quick too just to show you Oh yeah, look at that. Really juicy. Juicy like lemon. Oh, I'm wasting all that juice. Oh wow. Yeah. But this is a citramon, not a lemon, but a citramon. And it's one of the really good tasting trifoliate hybrids and it's fairly rare um, I know there's a few people trying to get them out there and stuff like that I, I, I you're more likely to find it somewhere else than you probably would be from for me but considering it doesn't have a lot of seeds and uh, you, you know this takes a lot of grafting I did get some bud wood from Stan though and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to graft some more I've only got about three or four little plants the only grafts I've ever been successful with was citramon I almost forgot there was a few branches that were putting out round perfectly almost perfectly round so it's almost like he's got a sport branch he's got a couple of them shooting out sport branch sport branches that are, are a more normal looking lemon but what's cool about these is you know a lemon is said to be a cross between a citron like a Buddha's hand crossed with some type of Mandarin and you can see the citron coming back out like this but there's still the roundness that's in there and this tree actually had a couple small branches that produced the round version and when you do research you'll see a type A and type B citramon I'm pretty sure that this would be type B or type A one of them and then this one right here would be the other type which I think is more appealing every grocery store should have one of these you know, a pile of these for sale. And we don't need to rely on other countries for these. We can grow these all the way up into North Carolina. You know, Alabama, Mississippi, North Florida. And the trifoliate makes them resistant to any of the greening disease that's out there. Oh, it just fell off. Now it looks like a normal leaf. Huh. But yeah, I wanted to show you. I had it over here and I almost forgot. A round version of citramon so pretty cool and these are usually fairly seedless not a whole lot of seed in them oh wow look at the juice yeah. in that one juice a, a plenty oh yeah, wow lots of flesh no seeds right and they, these make a great lemon pie too if you're into making lemon pies and I'm sure there's all kind of other things you could do with them and then this is the lemon trifoliate. Lemon trifoliate hybrid, yeah. <laughs> I almost got to say that was the best one so far. <laughs> Holy smokes. Mm. These are probably some of the most unique trifoliate hybrids that are there. Look how many of them are uh, there. Oh my 